Dragon Ball Z Broly, the Legendary Super Saiyan, is an iconic anime film that premiered in Japan on March 6, 1993, as part of the Toy Anime Fair. In 2003, Funimation Entertainment dubbed the film for North American distribution, solidifying its place as the first entry in the Z Broly trilogy. The film's popularity has since spawned two sequels, Dragon Ball Z Broly Second Coming and Dragon Ball Z Bio Broly. For 90s and early 2000 kids, watching animated programming blocks that broadcasted cartoons was a go-to way to pass the time. Among the numerous animated programming blocks available, Toonami stood out as the go-to block for American and Japanese animated shows. It was on Toonami that Dragon Ball Z Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, made its landmark debut. The film follows Goku as he investigates the destruction of the Southern Galaxy, while Vegeta is taken to be king of the new planet Vegeta and to destroy the legendary Super Saiyan, Broly. However, this video is not meant to focus on the films themselves, but on their original soundtracks and the bands that contributed to elevating the film's impact. Specifically, the bands Gravity Pool, Haji's Kitchen, and Ion. The English dub soundtrack of Dragon Ball Z Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, features songs from various Texas-based bands, including Pantera from Arlington, Haji's Kitchen from Louisville, Do So from Dallas, Slow Roosevelt also from Dallas, and Gravity Pool also based in Texas. Funimation Studios, the North American distributor of the film, is based in Flower Mound, Texas, which explains the presence of these Texas-based bands in the film's soundtrack. The remaining background music for the film was composed by Mark Minza. Gravity Pool's song Reach is included on the film's original soundtrack. Day After Day by Haji's Kitchen is the most popular song on the entire soundtrack, followed by Reach, which is the second most popular. Gravity Pool was a trio band consisting of guitarist and composer Dave Morin, drummer Evan Jones, and vocalist Vince Mullins, formed in 1992. They released their debut demo album, End of Nothing, in 1993. The band manages to combine hard rock, heavy metal, and progressive rock styles throughout their album. The demo album features tracks such as Won't Give In, Orbit, Pray, Reach, Untitled, Into View, and What a Waste, Fall From Grace. Guitarist Dave Morin's musical influences are unknown, although the rest of the band members are clearly fans of hard rock, heavy metal, progressive rock, and progressive metal. Drummer Evan Jones has gone on record and stated, Tool and Alice in Chains are still big influences of mine, says Jones. Their intensity and the moods they set still draw me in. Jones draws inspiration from Tool drummer Danny Carey and Alice in Chains drummer Sean Kinney, likely favoring Danny due to his implementation of double kick licks. While it appears that Vince was influenced by Tool vocalist Maynard James Keenan and Alice in Chains vocalist Lane Stanley, he uses dark imagery, haunted melodies, and sustained screams to captivate the listener's mind. They may have been influenced by Alice in Chains albums such as Facelift, released in 1990, and Dirt, released in 1992. The band may have also been inspired by Tool's Opiate EP, released in 1992, and possibly their studio album, Undertow. However, it's unclear whether Gravity Pool's demo album, which was released in 1993, was directly influenced by Tool's Undertow, which was also released in 1993. The formation of Haji's Kitchen, an American hard rock and progressive metal band from Louisville, Texas, dates back to 1992. The original lineup consists of vocalist Eddie Ellis, lead guitarist Eddie Head, guitarist Brett Stein, drummer Clint Barlow, and bassist Derek Blackley. According to Blackley, the band's name was coined when Clint walked into the rehearsal room where Eddie was eating his lunch, which was Indian food, and upon smelling the food, which has rather pronounced odor, Clint stated, Damn, smells like Haji's Kitchen in here. It shortly thereafter became a joke, and then the band name. The band played multiple gigs before inviting vocalist Eddie Ellis to sing on a few tracks. At the time, Ellis was part of the band Tommy Lamy, which included Derek Taylor, Scott Stein, Kyle Hone, and Rob Stankiewicz. After a period of working together, Haji's Kitchen officially recruited Eddie Ellis as their full-time vocalist and parted ways with their original drummer, Clint Barlow. In 1994, they brought on Rob Stankiewicz as their new drummer, who was previously a member of Crimini and Tommy Lamy. The five-piece lineup of Haji's Kitchen consisted of guitarist Eddie Head, 
Bassett Derek Blackley, lead guitarist Brett Stein, vocalist Eddie Ellis, and drummer Rob Stankiewicz. This lineup was signed to Shrapnel Records and released their self-titled debut album in 1995. They participated in the National Association of Music Merchants, secured endorsements, and performed at various gigs. Guitarist Brett Stein eventually left the band on good terms and was replaced by his older brother, Scott Stein, who was previously in the bands Tommy Lamy and Cremini. Haji's Kitchen received positive reviews and comparisons to popular bands at the time, such as Pantera and Alice in Chains. Their debut album was well received by critics and sold 5,000 copies, but there was controversy when Shrapnel Records' Mike Barney, in his infinite wisdom, refused to print more copies after the limited run of 5,000 sold out. This led to the band requesting to be dropped from the label and voiding their three record contract. This was a welcome change for the band, as they had reportedly not received any royalty payments from the label. After departing from Shrapnel Records, Haji underwent another change in their lineup. Creative differences arose with Eddie Ellis, and after he failed to attend a gig in Lubbock, Texas, he was dropped from the band. In 1999, Eddie Ellis went missing, and he's still missing to this day. Neither the band members nor his family have heard from him ever since. To replace him, the band hired Vince Mullins as their new vocalist after a brief audition period. The next unfortunate event in Haji's history was the theft of almost all their gear from their rehearsal room including guitar and bass amplifier rigs, drum hardware, and PA gear. The band conducted their own investigation, identified the culprits, and handed them over to Carrollton police. However, they were unable to prosecute the perpetrators. This incident was the final straw for Scott Stein, who decided to leave the band shortly thereafter. After Scott left, the lineup consisted of Eddie, Derek, Rob, and Vince. This newly formed lineup proceeded to release their second album, Sucker Punch, in 2001, with the local independent label M Records. It is the band's first and only album with vocalist Vince Mullins. From left to right, you have bassist Derek Blackley, drummer Rob Stankiewicz, vocalist Vince Mullins, and guitarist Eddie Head. In 2003, Haji's Kitchen's songs Day After Day and Loss were featured in the film Dragon Ball Z, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan with a third song, named Notch, remaining unreleased. Vince contributed vocals to the songs Day After Day and Lost. However, shortly after the debut of the new songs, the band went on an extended hiatus after giving Vince the boot due to his inability and unwillingness to do any substantial out-of-town gigging. They were without a vocalist for years. In 2004, Gravity Pool reformed as heavy rock band Ion in Springtown, Texas. The original members of the band are vocalist Mike Groff, former Gravity Pool guitarist Dave Morin, guitarist Dave Cutler, bassist Mike Barrett, and drummer Mike Daroch. Well, it seems like the band has quite the abundance of Mikes and Daves. I wonder if they ever got confused on stage. In 2005, the second Broly film, Dragon Ball Z Broly Second Coming, was dubbed into English by Funimation Studios and released. The remaining music featured in the background was composed by Nathan Johnson, while Ion composed exclusive songs for the film's original soundtrack, including Set Me Free, Ignored, Why, Deeper, and Unaccepted. The band's first album, Broken, was released in 2005 and included all five songs previously mentioned, plus two extra tracks, Light of Day and Digital Jesus. In 2007, Gravity Pool briefly reunited and recorded two new tracks, Reach 2007 Mix, and an instrumental track called Song for Vince. Listening closely to Reach 2007 Mix, the band really shows how much they were influenced by Tool. From slowing down the track and extending it from 6 minutes and 7 seconds to 6 minutes and 31 seconds, guitarist and music composer Dave Morin revising the song's hypnotic guitar intro and leading up to the heavy riff throughout the song. Evan Jones adding more double kick licks than ever. Vince's vocal range is still impressive as ever. 
that where he excels is in his sharp vocals and sustained screams. I'm a After Gravity Pool briefly reunited and finished recording two new tracks in 2007, they gave the rights to the instrumental track, Song for Vince, to Iom. They decided to add vocals to the song, changed the name to My Life, and included it on their second album, Humanity, A Worldwide Epidemic. The album was released in 2008 and consisted of nine tracks. In the comments section of this video titled, Who is Ion, someone allegedly claiming to be Dave Cutler states, Hey, just an update to your commentary, this is D Cutler. I play guitar for Ion. We actually formed in 2004 and play it all across the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolis area in Oklahoma. We were not formed just to play on the DBZ movie you mentioned. We actually came together from several different bands to create Ion and hope to bring our live shows to the people. DBZ was just the icing on the cake, so to speak, and I, we, appreciated the fan base that has been so loyal across these years. Another comment from someone allegedly claiming to be Mike Groff states, Ion wasn't made for the movie Broly. We submitted a song, they liked the sound, said it really fit Broly, and asked if we wanted to do the whole thing. We played all over, open for many bigger groups at the time, like Ted Nugent in Headline, Slave to the Metal Show for Mistress Julia on VH1. Ion, Gravity Pool, and Haji's Kitchen were not created specifically to play in the Dragon Ball Z movies. Funimation chose to include their songs in the films after they submitted them and were liked by the company. A YouTube channel features Ion's songs including their entire second album, Humanity Worldwide Epidemic, and promo videos of the band. The channel also features a promo video shot for Ion with Mistress Julia at the Slave to the Metal Festival at the Ridge Lake Theater in Fort Worth, Texas. While Ion has a MySpace page, not all their songs are listed on it. There's also an unofficial Facebook page that's still active to this day. Fans can find their music on YouTube channels mentioned throughout this video. In 2010, Haji's Kitchen announced on their MySpace page that the band had reunited and was back in the studio recording for their first time in years. Four out of five of the original members, lead guitarist Brett Stein, bassist Derek Blackley, guitarist Eddie Head, and drummer Rob Stankiewicz rejoined the band again. This was also Haji's first recording in a decade since their Sucker Punch sessions. Their plan was to release an EP, but unfortunately it was not completed. Some songs from the end of 1993 in the Sucker Punch recording were being reworked. In 2010, Haji's Kitchen still faced the challenge of finding a suitable lead singer. Initially, they considered having multiple vocalists from local bands share the vocal duties. However, Derek was impressed by Tesseract a UK band and their new singer, Daniel Tompkins, after watching bootleg videos of their shows in Russia. He took a chance and cold called Daniel to ask if he would be interested in joining Haji's Kitchen. Impressed by the band's previous work, Daniel listened to Sucker Punch and other songs they were working on and agreed to join the band. In 2011, Haji's Kitchen named Daniel Tompkins as their new full-time lead singer. In October 2011, they released their first new material in a decade, a single called Define the Lie, which was distributed through major music outlets. A video was also uploaded on their YouTube channel, showing Daniel recording vocals for the unreleased song Notch, which replaced Vince's vocals. The video ends with a shot of Brett Stein. In the comment section of the Notch video, one of the band members posted comments stating, When we went back and started reviewing all the old stuff to see what we wanted to throw out, and what we thought was good enough to re-record and release, we really started from scratch on just about everything. When it came to Notch, we still liked the old bridge and chorus, but all of us really felt like the old verses were weak sauce. So out they went. We figured the people that are really attached to the old version already have it, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. And dude, we're totally flattered by the comparison, but be serious, changing Notch is absolutely nothing like changing Walk, as for Day After Day and Lost, those tracks having been exposed to tons more people due to the DBZ bid, and being much stronger songs in the first place, we stay much truer to the originals. Everything just sounds tougher, more balls from an overall production standpoint, 
mostly because Eddie Head is much better engineered than he was 10 years ago. Their third album, 2012, was released on June 27, 2012, featuring six vocal tracks with Dayon Tompkins and instrumental versions of the vocal tracks. Notch is also included in the album. Haji's Kitchen also re-recorded fan favorites Day After Day and Lost with Daniel's vocals, replacing Vince's original vocals. The band's current lineup includes vocalist Daniel Tompkins, lead guitarist Brett Stein, bassist Derek Blackley, guitarist Eddie Head, and drummer Rob Stankiewicz. They are still active to this day and can be found on their social media pages. As for the original members of Gravity Pool, the whereabouts of drummer Evan Jones are unknown. Guitarist and music composer Dave Morin joined Ion and then continued to produce music with Nathan Johnson at Funimation for a while. After Vince's departure from Haji's Kitchen, he briefly reunited with Gravity Pool to record a Reach 2007 mix. He then formed a new hard rock band called Half Life on October 18, 2007 in Henderson, Texas. The band performed in various locations in Texas, including a performance at the Boiler Room in Dallas on October 28, 2011. The band remained active until July 18, 2015. In a video titled Into the View Demo, which is a Gravity Pool song, not a Haji's Kitchen song, perhaps it's an older version? Nevertheless, the video was uploaded on August 20, 2016, and the description states, Vince Mullins, ex Haji's Kitchen, ex Gravity Pool, Half-Life band member is fighting against cancer. Please show some love and support here. The first link took me to Linda Mullen's Facebook page, Vince's wife. The second link took me to a GoFundMe page going into detail about Vince and his illness. Diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic melanoma in his brain and lungs. It came all too quickly on July 29, 2016. Just a few short months later, on October 6, 2016, the world had lost a talented voice when Vince Mullins was taken too soon by stage 4 metastatic melanoma at just 44 years old. This video was initially intended to focus on the band Gravity Pool and Vince Mullins. However, as I continued to work on this, it began to spiral out of control and develop into something else. Toonami was initially cancelled in 2008 but the Toonami fandom wiki list that Dragon Ball Z Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan aired in 2014. This seems incorrect to me as I distinctly remember watching the film on Toonami as a teenager, long before Toonami's original cancellation. After all, who could forget that final and emotional promo? The first Broly film must have aired in the West between 1993 and 2003. I was aware that Vince, the former vocalist of Gravity Pool, was also part of Haji's Kitchen, this connection became evident through his vocal contribution to the band's most popular tracks, Day After Day and Loss. However, I was not aware of the connection between Gravity Pool and Ion. The Z film's original soundtracks have been a topic of discussion among fans, with some disliking Funimation's choice to use real bands for the movies. Some fans argue that the music does not fit well with certain scenes. On the other hand, there are fans who enjoy the soundtracks from not just the Z Broly movies, but also the other Z movies as well. This debate continues on social media and on anime forums to this day. The soundtracks in the English dub of Dragon Ball Z have been a major part of what made the anime so memorable. From the hard rock opening theme, Rock the Dragon, that gets fans powered up at the beginning of each episode, to bands like Gravity Pool, Heidi's Kitchen, Ion, and others who contributed to the music in DBZ films. Of course, there's Bruce Falconer's unforgettable music compositions such as Vegeta's Super Saiyan theme and the Perfect Cell theme. Even mainstream musicians have been influenced by these unforgettable themes. It's astonishing to think about how much impact the music has had on fans, and there's still so much more to discover about these talented bands. I mentioned earlier that YouTube is a good place to search for the music of Gravity Pool, Haji's Kitchen, and Ion. However, among these bands, only Haji is available on music distribution platforms. On Haji's Spotify page, you'll find multiple fan-made playlists dedicated to the music from Dragon Ball Z movies under the Discovered On section. However, these playlists are incomplete since Vince's original vocals on tracks Day After Day and Lost are replaced with Daniel's vocals. It's comforting to know that there are still fans out there whose devotion for this music still lives on. Clearly, all three of them attracted a cult-like following of devoted fans. It is our responsibility as fans to do everything as possible to preserve this triad of bands. 
As I was working on this video, I began reminiscing on other songs and musicians from animated movies and television programming block promos that I grew up with. It is unfortunate that many people have forgotten them. They may never be heard by a new generation whether it's because of behind the scenes drama with record labels, copyright issues, or simply not being available on physical nor digital distribution platforms. The purpose of this video is to highlight these bands to prevent them from fading into obscurity. I hope that their music continues to be remembered and appreciated for years to come. Overall, I want to express my gratitude to the members of Gravity Pool, Haji's Kitchen, and Ion for shaping my taste in music. Whether it's the grunge era Seattle sound of the Big Four, the Palm Desert sound of Caius and Queen of the Stone Age, and of course, the progressive metal band Tool, you are a part of rock music and Dragon Ball history, and nothing will ever change that. Of all the ones you could have had, you would have had it all, comes down your shimmering 